Well, South Africa's economy has really been struggling since the 2008 recession. One of the big issues has been getting the right skill sets into the economy and creating jobs. We've also had new empowerment legislation launched. Talking to us today is Georgina Barrick, who's CEO of Humanity Search and Select, and her speciality is trying to plug these holes in the economy. Well, 2013 was another tough year. In your experience, do you see things picking up in 2014? Many companies have probably had to review um, their plans for the year. Uh, and what that means from a staffing perspective is that companies will put um, non-critical vacancies on hold until they have a, a good sense of what the year holds for them. The skills shortage is always, it's, it's quite a complex problem and I think we, we talk quite glibly um, very often about this, this broad topic, skills shortage. And I think we actually very often need to break down what that skills shortage actually means. Um, so, so definitely, yes, in some sectors there is a skills shortage. One of those, this, the, the skills shortages that we may want to talk about, is around African female qualified chief financial officers. So these are people who have between 10 and 15 years experience and are able to lead a listed company as a chief financial officer. So we keep getting empowerment codes every couple of years in South Africa. It's been 10 years in the making. The most recent one happened last year. Do you see this as another sign of improvement um, in these codes or is it going to be more challenges lying in wait? Look, it is, it is our view that the codes as they stand at the moment again are going to fall short um, in terms of really addressing um, the key issues around black economic empowerment. We have a very, very short supply of potential suitably qualified um, black candidates who could effectively fulfill those roles. They can therefore demand exceptionally high packages. We need to be rewarding companies to be promoting and employing and developing and mentoring middle management so that they can within 10-15 years be able to fill these positions. It's outside the budget of, of many listed companies and um, they command enormous salary packages and incentive and bonus schemes. Enormous. We have found quite an alarming um, trend with people who we, we have coined it a term called presenteeism who, have come, or who are coming to work and for one, whatever reason, whether it's that they're not suited to the organization, there's a cultural mismatch, they're not suited to the role they're in, it has an effect on organizations, it has an effect on their ability to reach their targets. People really, truly are the most important asset. Businesses are no longer um, competitive simply because of their system and process. They are competitive because of the people they employ in the organization and the deployment of those people into particular roles. 